Tech Me Easy Strap and Press with you today. Let me go ahead and grab a spring. Now, if you'll notice on this strut, it's a little bit smaller, it's not so tightly wound, and because of that, it's going to take a lot of travel to compress this down. I just want to show you that we're able to do that with no issues. You're going to start by taking your spring at the lowest point and putting it into your stationary jaw. Once you have it settled in there, you can go ahead and bring your jaws closer together. Okay. And once you have it on there, not too tight, you notice that this jaw is adjustable. The reason for that is you can move this up or down, and that will sway your spring back and forth, so you can make sure that your strut is in center line with your tool. Once you have that in a likable position, you can go ahead and clamp this all the way. Once that's tight, you can compress this down. Now you notice that we used a hydraulic jack instead of a lead screw. One of the reasons for that is to take some of the strenuous work out of this job. Once you have your compression head close to the bearing plate, I want you to notice here that these move in and out, and this will also swivel back and forth. The reason for that, you want to make sure that these are out of the way of any obstructions, such as these studs, which is a little easier on this one because this rotates. Once you have that in place, you can bring your compression head further down. And you'll notice here when this comes down, this will self-seat itself at an angle of the bearing plate. Once you have that in place, with a little bit of tension, you can go ahead and tighten these pivot screws. That'll make sure this compression head doesn't move back and forth and everything stays in the same position. And now you'll notice here how much travel this is going to take to compress this. This right actually comes loose. All right, Ben. Okay. Once this is freed up, you can go ahead and loosen your nut here. Now, because this self-seated itself to this bearing plate, the other thing I want you to know is that when you go to put this back in, everything stays in the same position. So there's no need to get your fingers inside here and move anything around. The new one will just slide right back into place. Once you have it where you need it, you can go ahead and tighten your nut. Once you have that done, Go ahead and position your spring so it seats back into the bottom of the strut. And release your pressure. And three short minutes, your job is done.